morning everyone it's campfire trish and today is uh, part three of my holiday series um, and yeah it's morning it's early I'm still in my pajamas I haven't made my coffee yet but I have um, I have sausage cooking if you can hear it sizzling in the background but um, today's video is all about uh, breakfast it's all about brunch Christmas brunch um, I know uh, in my household typically we tend to skip the um, breakfast first thing in the morning uh, on Christmas Day and we're all about like getting the presents done um, opened and, and having fun with family. And then we're like, oh my gosh, it's later and we need to eat. So it's more like brunch time when we're eating. So these are some brunch. I've got two brunch recipes. Um, and one of them I, um, prepped last night. So that is ready to go. The other one I'm whipping up this morning and, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we're doing a, the French toast casserole and, uh, the second one I'm cooking up this morning is a sausage hash brown egg casserole. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let me show you what I did, uh, for the French bread casserole last night. Here we go. And so that's the prep for the French bread casserole. This one is, um, the one I'm working on now is the um, sausage hash brown casserole. And as you can see, I've already got my, um, my, my regular breakfast sausage cooking. And uh, now we're gonna prep the casserole dish to get it ready for uh, yumminess.
So I'm only doing Rotel on half because we have some non tomato eaters. <laughs> so Rotel on half if you want. And then um, here is my French bread, my French toast casserole. I'm going to also top it with some aluminum foil. And both of these are going to go into the 350 degree preheated oven. Um, let's see. So for the French toast, the um, egg casserole, it needs to cook for 50 minutes. And for the French toast, it needs to cook for 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to start off with a, start off with it for about 40 minutes and then take the French toast out first and then we'll do the egg. And there they are. They, there they are in the oven, ready to do the magic. All right, so 50 minutes, 50 minutes has passed. I'm gonna take the um, French toast casseroles already out. And take out the egg one. I'm gonna just put the last layer of cheese right on top and then I'm going to put it back in the oven for about oh five ten minutes just so the cheese can melt it's almost time for eating look how pretty that is All right, so we've already seen that the egg turned out really nicely. Let's take a peek at this French toast casserole. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Ooh, this looks good. And I'm just going to add, so you can either do, just take it out and put um, syrup on it if you want to. I'm gonna add some, um, confectioner sugar to it. Just gonna sprinkle it on you. I might still do some syrup, I haven't decided. Make it look pretty, it looks like it snowed, huh? Uh, yeah, we are about ready to eat. Look at that. Delish. Let's get eating. All right, so I'm in front of the Christmas tree, I've got my trusty cup of coffee. I definitely needed that. I have my Plate. I added some blueberries to my French toast. And I'm just going to take a little, I'm going to start off with the egg casserole. Here that is. Oh, hot. Mmm. That's good. It's really tasty. This, the uh, sausage is 
cooked well. The eggs kind of melded in with those hash browns. It's really good. I like the little bit of rotel. I like I like fresh tomatoes with my eggs, my scrambled eggs. This is a little bit more cooked. It's okay. I wish I had fresh tomato instead. But it's still tasty. Needs a little bit more salt and pepper. I don't usually cook with pepper because my oldest turns her nose up at it. And here is that um, French toast. Uh, and I'm going to, I don't have anything on it. It's just as is. Mm. That's good. Gonna add a little bit of um, maple syrup. The nice thing about maple syrup, is you don't really need a lot. You just need a little drizzle. Just enough. Let me try that with some maple syrup. Oh, man. That is really good. But um, yeah. So this right here, awesome holiday brunch menu. If you don't like sausage, you can definitely do bacon with this. You can probably make this sausage hash brown casserole the night before too, if you wanted to, uh, and let it sit overnight and then pop it all in the uh, oven the next morning. It's awesome. You give it about an, an hour lee leeway to cook and uh, it's perfect, y'all. This is really, really good. Highly recommend it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it is definitely a winner. It's gonna be filling our bellies up in just a few moments for sure, everybody in the household. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Next week is um, part four. It's, it's Christmas day next week, yo. And uh, it's going to be a yummy one. It's going to be simple, easy, laid back, something um, that you can prep ahead of time and get going ahead of time. It's going to be perfect and you can use it. I mean, all my recipes you can use throughout the whole entire year. So it's not just limited to, to the holidays, but you can use it anytime. So uh, again, watch for next week. And uh, I, go, I guess you guys, uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next Saturday at 8 a.m., Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below.